But if you're also looking for some other music, you have to check out Azima. She's a violinist and she absolutely rocks the house. She rocked the stage with Beyonce at Coachella and she's just absolutely amazing. There's nothing wrong with strings attached, especially when Azima is on the violin. You can do things like play the violin, especially when there are a lot of stereotypes. I would just speak that right into the camera so these I mean, girls out here especially know. Especially when there are a lot of stereotypes that, that are sending the message that that's not for someone who looks like you. Okay, Azima, you've got to tell me, how did you get the name Classical Bay? We have to start there. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, that's the internet's work. Uh, it happened maybe four years ago. I was, you know, I was putting out a lot of music content online and um, yeah, Bossip actually just decided to call me Classical Bay and it stuck and we trademarked it and it's my thing now. <laughs> well, I don't want to call you a unicorn, but I love your story because it's so unique. Um, the world of classical music, we don't see many folks like myself or you. Uh, how did you get interested in the violin? Well, I was three years old. I'm from Nebraska, um, which is, you know, rural Midwest. Um, but at the school where I went, they had a violin program and I begged my parents to play. I picked it up and, you know, really took to it. I was like pretty, I, my teachers were surprised, you know, that I could play and everything. And I just kind of ran with it and um, I haven't stopped since. So it's really just something that spoke to me and I, I, I love it. Yeah, we'll talk about not stopping, you know, here in California, Coachella's the big thing. What was it like playing with Beyonce? I, I mean, I can't, I couldn't even imagine the phone call. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's insane. It was a Facebook message actually a few years ago before Coachella and her director reached out and was like, hey, we want you to work with us. My client really likes your work. I can't tell you who the client is, but join the band. I was like, okay, I need more information. Like, tell me something. I Google his name and sure enough, it's you know, Beyonce and, you know, then, you know, working with her prior than doing Coachella, it's just, I mean, mind blowing, just the, the woman, the entertainer, the, the artist that she is, it's really inspiring for someone like me. And, you know, she breaks barriers herself, you know, there's a part in Coachella where she's singing opera and like, just to be a part of that with especially women of color in the band, it was just incredible, incredible for me. Yeah. And now you're all over, you're trying to encourage others to get involved in classical music. Tell me about that. Well, you know, I think classical music, it's, um, I mean, it's, you know, incredible. You have Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, all these amazing composers, but it's a bit of an um, exclusive and elite and not inviting to everyone type of space. And I really want to challenge that and make people feel comfortable and take Mozart into places outside of the concert hall and make sure everybody has access. Because my story, unfortunately, there have been moments where I haven't felt like I belonged or, or whatever. And I really want to encourage children to just, anyone can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's, let's make a violin. You know, let's change the world with music. Let's all connect. Let's do something positive together through music. So... Yeah, and the challenge that you're talking about, I think this is so cute and it's so timely. And I know parents are loving you right now. Uh, the challenge that you have on making a violin out of things you just have in your pantry or around the house. And the videos are so cute. These like little three-year-olds like playing away on their, on their little mac and cheese violins. It just warms my heart. And it's actually how I started. I made a violin myself when I was little. That's how badly, you know, I wanted to play. And I learned on that until we could get a violin. So, yeah. Oh, that's so adorable. And they are actually, like, it's a real working violin. It's making noise and doing that whole thing. I mean, it's not a... a <laughs> it's close enough. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's close enough. It's getting them interested. Exactly. Which is what the point is. And so I have to ask you, how are you holding up during this time? What, are, what have you been doing? you have any tips for anybody? Oh man, um, definitely Netflix is great. <laughs> no, I mean, writing so much music, um, you know, out here in Arizona, the desert is just so beautiful. I've been very inspired. So writing a lot, um, I'm actually getting ready to, well, I, I had a film coming out for Tribeca Film Festival. So we're still, you know, finalizing the credits for that. Hopefully 
the festival will still be happening, but I'm excited to release that documentary about my life. And um, yeah, just chilling, walking, taking a moment to really breathe. I think this virus, it's so unfortunate for everyone, but it's also a time where we can grow and be positive, so. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll look out for that documentary, for sure. We'll have our fingers crossed. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much.